we want to evaluate each expression using the order of operations given below for reference. Looking at this first expression, notice how it's in fraction form, where we have an expression in the numerator divided by an expression in the denominator. When we have an expression in this form, there are implied parentheses around the numerator and denominator, which means we simplify the numerator and denominator separately following the order of operations, and then we simplify the fraction by performing the division. So looking at the numerator, we have a division and multiplication, which have the same priority, so we multiply and divide from left to right. So we'll first perform this division here. Looking at the denominator, we only have one operation, so we'll perform this subtraction. So the given expression is equal to, again, 24 divided by six equals four, so we have four times two in the numerator. Our denominator would be nine minus seven or two. Now we perform the multiplication in the numerator. Four times two equals eight, so we have eight divided by two, which if we went into, we could write as eight divided by two. Either way, it simplifies to four. So this first expression is equal to four. Let's verify this on the calculator. So again, we'll put the numerator and denominator in parentheses. So we have an open parenthesis, 24 divided by six times two. Close parenthesis divided by, in parentheses, nine minus seven. Enter, which verifies our work. Notice our next expression also contains a fraction. So again, there are implied parentheses here as well as here, which means we'll begin by simplifying the numerator. Notice 37 plus three equals 40, and notice our denominator would be five times two or 10. So the given expression is equal to 32 minus three times 40 over 10 or divided by 10. Now from here, we can think of this fraction as being in parentheses or having implied parentheses here. Notice how this fraction does simplify to four since 40 divided by 10 equals four. So let's go ahead and perform this operation next with the implied parentheses. We'll look at this another way in just a moment. So we have 32 minus three times four. Now we multiply and divide from left to right. Three times four equals 12. So we have 32 minus 12, which equals 20. So this expression is equal to 20, but I do want to come back to this step here. If we didn't think of this fraction as being in a set of parentheses, we could also interpret the expression as 32 minus three times 40 divided by 10, and we should get the same result. Let's go ahead and check it. Multiplying and dividing from left to right, we would multiply. Three times 40 equals 120. So we have 32 minus 120 divided by 10. Again, multiplying and dividing from left to right, we perform this division. 120 divided by 10 equals 12. 32 minus 12 equals 20. So of course the result is the same. Now let's check this on the calculator. So we have 32 minus three times open parenthesis, 37 plus three, close parenthesis, divided by open parenthesis, five times two, close parenthesis, and enter. Now I do want to mention the way we type this in, the calculator interpreted as we did here on the left. If we wanted the calculator to interpret it as we did here in blue, we need another set of parentheses around the fraction. So let's go ahead and show that as well. I'm gonna press second, enter, which brings up the last entry, which we can now edit. So we'll go to the left here and insert another open parenthesis. So second, insert, open parenthesis. Go to the far right. Another close parenthesis here. Enter, and the result is the same. Let's go to our next expression. We have another fraction, so there's implied parentheses here as well as here. So in our first step, notice that eight minus four is equal to four, and four minus two equals two. This is all cubed. Inside the parentheses, we have four divided by two, which equals two. Two cubed is equal to two times two times two, which equals eight. Our expression is equal to eight. Checking on the calculator, we have open parenthesis, open parenthesis for the numerator, so eight minus four, 
close parenthesis for the numerator divided by open parenthesis four minus two, close parenthesis for the denominator, close parenthesis for the outer parentheses, and then raised to the third power equals eight. And now for our last expression, again we have another fraction, so we'll simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator. So we would have 12 plus four times six minus six plus four is 10 divided by three minus one equals two, so squared. And notice how 10 divided by two equals five. So we'll simplify here inside the parentheses. So we have 12 plus four times six minus five squared. Next step is to simplify the exponents. Five squared equals 25. So we have 12 plus four times six minus 25. Step three, simplify multiplication and division from left to right. Here we have multiplication. So we have 12 plus four times six is 24 minus 25. Step four, add and subtract from left to right. 12 plus 24 is 36. 36 minus 25 equals 11. This last expression is equal to 11. Checking on the calculator, let's go ahead and clear this. We have 12 plus four times six minus open parenthesis for the fraction, open parenthesis for the numerator, so we have six plus four, close parenthesis for the numerator, divided by our denominator in parentheses of three minus one. Another closed parenthesis for the fraction, and this is squared, and enter. So notice how it can be challenging to enter some of these expressions into the calculator, but this does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.